What's up guys, Larox is back and today I'll be reacting to Content Comp Jake Paul. Uh, that was some weird pronunciation of cop right there. Content Comp, Content Comp, Content Comp. Now I've already seen Rice Gum's response videos to this, his uh, reaction, his diss track, all of that. Um, I've been putting this off for so long and now I'm gonna react to it. Alright, all 30 minutes of it, 31 minutes actually. All right, here we go. What we do here is go back, 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 back. My goodness! Oh no! Wow! What? No way! Oh my goodness! He actually... Wow! That's actually kind of cool. Hello everyone! Hello. Welcome back to another episode of Chan Chin Chan Chin Top. Jackie Polly Chan Chin Chop. Drooling, leaking out of mouth. I want a Jakey Polly Con Champ Chop. Cow Chop or Chan Chin Chop or Cham Chong here. Cham Chong here. If you clicked on this video with the sole intention to watch me lampoon this guy who's been made fun of for the past three months, you're going to be sorely disappointed Aww. because this video is not about this obnoxious, arrogant asshole. It's about an entirely different obnoxious, arrogant asshole. Some of you might be pleasantly surprised with who this video is actually about. I'll give you a hint. He's very boastful. He's made a video on me. Dinga 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 up it up it up it up it up it up. That's right, everyone. I'm talking about Asian Jake Paul. Cool. You you can't just hide hide for months and make a 20 minute video and rambling. No one even knows and surprise everyone and just drop it on my head. You can't just do that. I'm doing that. I'm doing it right now. If you were to make a rice gum content cop, I mean, that would blow him up even more. Oh no! I didn't title it that. I guess I'm not gonna blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Paul, you've made a wonderful scapegoat, so I don't have to give this bit of mucus the satisfaction of having his name in the title or his face in the thumbnail. Now that all of that is out of the way, we're going to react to a video that this hype beast released about a year ago, essentially begging for a content cop. I don't really care at all, but I kind of really want him to make one on me. I really don't care, but I kind of really want him to make one on me. These are quite obviously conflicting statements because you have no idea what strategy to actually go with. Should I be super confident and act as if I want a content cop, or should I act as if I don't care at all? I don't know. Let's I should say both. that I've never He'll seen a content my appearance, cop before, whatever. so I have He'll no idea what to really bring up some old really pictures expect. of me from way back then when I looked weird. What are you talking about? It's like you watched the Leafy video and thought, this is all this guy does is roast people's appearance. I could stave off all criticism by showing pictures of myself when I was a goofball kid. I like you when you're a goofball kid. That's perfectly fine. Those pictures are great. You should show the clip of you saying the rape comments is what you should be doing. Boy, well, he raped you? No, but did it feel good though? How long like, did the rape last for? Five minutes or less. Oh, okay. So it's not that bad. Did you sue him and shit or not? Guys, if you want to rape her, she won't sue you, so. If you were to okay, make Okay, I knew he me, made the rape comments, but I didn't know they were that bad. The comments, like, and I don't that blame crazy. him. I would oh want to move goodness. past those as well. But I'm not going to let him off the hook that easy, because it seems like he has this disregard for what he can be criticized for. What would he say? And I just want to spell it out. Hey, dumbass. You did something stupid in the past, you can be criticized for it. If you do drop a video on me, I swear to God, I'm dropping the best diss track ever. Wow, your words hold so much weight. When have I heard that before? And I think I'm gonna drop a diss track, so if this video gets more than two likes, but me and KSI about to drop a banger. What, what should we do, bro? Diss track. Diss track. We got a song on the way. I'm working. We're about to be working all night over time. In the brief period he's been on YouTube, he's managed to commit all seven of the deadly YouTuber <laughs> sins. So that's the theme for today's video. Seven deadly sins. It's basically just seven topics. I just wanted to be cute. Investigation of the hype beasts. 
Okay, Ricegum said he's gonna drop the best diss track on iDubs, but I've seen the diss track. It's not that great. Oh, okay, ew. City of Angels? Huh. More like City of Devils. Oh my gosh, the press is going wild out there. Okay, no. <laughs> testing, testing, pussy, one, two, three, pussy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jimmy Dean of 10 News, and I'm standing in front of a horrific murder scene that happened just hours ago. I've already spoken to the police, and all they could tell us was that the murder might have something to do with the organization or cult known as the Hype Beasts. This is a satanic cult that has been involved in numerous murders, shootings, killings, and homicides, and also rapes. Sometimes they rape babies. We are going to investigate no. it. We're going to find some answers because the police aren't giving us very many answers. And we're going to get down to the bottom of it. Uh, back to you, Cheryl. Lust. Hey, she'll let me smash, bro. Bro, she'll let me pipe her shit. Yeah, bro, she definitely wants to fuck me. Bro, she low-key got some titties. I think she's 16 to 15. I go lie, bro. She got some titties on her, bro. When it comes to showing off the uh, rapper lifestyle, whether it be with women or money, he has the most generic taste imaginable. Let me pile 14 women in front of me to show you that I, I get women. Do you believe that I'm not gay yet? No. I'm trying to make up for that time when Fousey was basically fondling me for a minute straight on video. Check out these next clips mm -hmm. where I basically lie to some girls on my stream. No, but I'm not streaming though. I just wanted to call you. Oh, you're not? No, no, I just wanted to call you and just talk. I'm not live right now, right? No, no, no. Wow. Basically, we were just chilling on Amigo. She didn't know that I was live to 3,000 people. With a lot of these interactions, wow. it's sort of the ends justify the means because by the end of the stream, they're giddy with excitement because they got all these new followers for appearing on the stream. Oh my gosh! You are lying to me! You're such a goofball! But of course, they won't always act so coy when you've been caught lying to them. So you know those messages you sent me saying that it was only streamed once and that it was not recorded and no one else would get it. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been sitting here watching your stream oh, no, for like no. an hour and I you replayed it. And even after that happened, it's like he didn't even realize that it was a bad thing. That she found out was pretty funny. I just fucking dipped and then uh, just wait till the last clip, homie. You shouldn't just do that without talking to people. I left! Holy shit, dude! I'm getting off stream, stream. Speaking of recording people without their knowledge, there's a YouTube video he deleted about a year ago that's uh, called Netflix and Chill. It's a story time video. No, I show her where my bathroom is. She goes, and for some reason, she leaves her phone on the couch, right? So I'm on some curious Georgia, you know, I want to go through her phone, so I'm going through her phone right now, and I'm looking through her messages, and tell me why she texts like 10 other dudes, are you awake? I don't even feel special anymore, and I feel like I'm just another option to her. Oh, he doesn't feel special anymore. You hear that, ladies? I wonder what he's gonna do now that he doesn't feel special. And I feel like I'm just another option to her, so I'm like, you know what? I'm about to get some payback and just put her ass on the internet. Payback for what again? Because you weren't their first choice to sleep with? <laughs> so I set up the hidden camera, man, and I sit back down, and out of nowhere, again, he starts calling me, or whoever, it just starts calling my phone, and she finds the hidden camera. So I see you made it to the end of the video, man, based on a true story. If it is a parody of story time videos, and you're admitting to almost committing a crime by recording someone without their knowledge of you having sex with them, you'd think you'd at least be intelligent enough to say, Guys, this was a joke. This was a parody. <laughs> put her ass on the internet. Put her ass put on the her ass, internet. Put her ass, put her ass on the internet. You should plaster parody all over it. You shouldn't say at the end of it. Based on a true story. I completely understand why you delete that video. It sort of ruins all future prospects of you having sexual intercourse with anyone. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's just another example of you being stupid, despite you saying... What would he say? He would be like, Oh, Rex gonna bullies people. Yahoo! Glutiny. For this next segment, I'm going to remove myself as a critic, and instead I'm going to speak as a fan. Because me and all the other fans want to know what happened to the clickbait challenge winner. And last but not least, make sure to put hashtag clickbait challenge in the description, because at the end of two weeks, the video with the most views will win a humongous prize. So go out, get creative, and let's get clickbaiting. Yeah, but we're still waiting for the winner. You didn't announce it. Not on YouTube, not on Twitter. 
not on Facebook, not on Instagram, not even on Google+. You don't have to divulge any private information. It was a public competition where there's a public winner, the, the person who got the most views within those two weeks, who used hashtag clickbait channel. Okay, Rice Cup there actually one explained thing why you really there was no say, winner for that and challenge. That's, uh, and something along the lines of, I mean, I'm not yeah, going he did to the announce right the thing, winner because if you know I what respect I'm about. their privacy. I'm not live right now, right? If you no, don't, no, then no. just like check out Rice Gum's response video to this. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with having expensive taste. Uh, the problem arises when you're obnoxious about it. $800 off-white $2,000 $450 $1,000 $1,000 Guess how much it is How much do you think this jacket was worth? $1,600 <laughs> It's time to be more positive Let's go out and spread positivity <laughs> Guys, it's all about that positivity Clearly, we can all privately laugh about making it rain on homeless people. Like, you and your friend, you're like, yeah, we're fucked up. I can't believe we did that. But I don't okay. think most people would upload it because they'd realize that any comedic value is completely overshadowed by how much of a faggot you appear to be. This seems like an appropriate time to show you this great opinion. No, but all seriously, I'm probably like one of the few YouTubers that use the money I make from YouTube to like buy stuff to make my videos better. He will often flex in his music videos. Nice twenties, I need blue on my bills. Wrist looking like the fifty bands. I'm gonna flex on my wrist. I put some ice. On. He will also flex on random people in the street. There's a store called Supreme, and they dropped this today. And there's like this really long line, like three miles. Like so, I'm about to walk by and see the reaction. <laughs> He tries very hard to convince his fans that he is not flexing on them. I would never flex on the viewers, the fans, never. Once again, I would never flex on my fans, just me flexing on the haters. I'm not trying to flex on you guys at all. You guys are the reason why I have money. Well, there comes a point where you have to realize that your fans watch your videos more than your haters watch your videos. So you That's are flexing true. on your fans. Yep. One of the only decent points he's ever made is in this video where he compares his life to the life of the rich kids of Snapchat. And there were a lot of similarities, go figure. But by the end of it, he says, If, you know, me, I don't match your personal preferences, there's probably someone out there that will match your personal preference, so go watch someone else. I think that's a perfectly fair statement. But you shouldn't preface it by saying, Guys, I'm not showing off I'm rich. These are just things that I do on an everyday basis. You absolutely are showing off. Just fucking own it. If you're showing off, you're showing off. Also, he does this horrible skit where he pretends to have a normal life. A lot of people don't know this, but like, I just act rich and try to show off all these cool things on camera. But as soon as the camera turns off, I just have a normal life. Uh-huh, sure. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What? What? I don't have much of a problem with it being an inaccurate portrayal of a normal person's life, but it's just fucking lazy. Heaven forbid you film this outside or at a friend's house or anywhere that isn't a multi-million dollar mansion so that the skit actually makes sense. He is extremely insecure, and he makes it very obvious when he uploads videos like this where he details how much money he earns in a month on YouTube. There's like this video that has been going crazy viral and basically in the video he shows how much money YouTube has paid him. Everyone just giving him so much props, like everyone loves him. This dude is getting so much street credit, I'm like, I want some street cred too. Last month I made a roughly $60,000. Uh, I mean, it's okay. It is actually my lowest paid month once again. I only got 20 million views. I'm not sure what odds he's trying to improve. The odds that uh, a female will finally see him as a suitable sex candidate because he has money, or the odds that his child fan base will revere him more as a god. Sloth. I don't often speak on the topic of stretching videos out to the 10 minute mark for the sake of more ad revenue, particularly with the adpocalypse stuff going on. If that's some people's hustle, no problem with it. The problem is, when you don't actually fill that space with more content, you just stretch your outro out, three minutes long, four minutes long, that's fucking retarded. I love you guys, subscribe that's if you're true. new, comment, I read all comments, and now I try to make this video somehow 10 minutes. Guys, for your information, all my one thing that he's very ten minute videos are actually legit when he states ten minutes. All, all right, of his videos I'm not stretching are jokes. them or anything. All of my videos are jokes. A lot of people don't understand this. People get actually mad at me, like, "Yo, relax." 
All my videos are jokes. It's just for fun. I have no beef against this kid. No, they're not. And it's very obvious to anyone who watches your videos that they're not all jokes. You're not playing a character. All right, that is you. You are being yourself in these videos. Oh, no, I get it. You're, you're so spineless that you want to have it both ways. You want to basically be able to say, yeah, I roasted this person in the past, but it was all jokes. It was all jokes. If you want to suggest that some amount of your videos are jokes, go for it. it. You know, it's very obvious to all of us that your beef with Logan Paul is just a bunch of fake shit. Oh no! Logan stole my clothes! What am I gonna do? <laughs> oh snap! He's gonna be pissed. Bro, look at this, bro! Where's my Supreme and Gucci and Babe? That is all fake beef. So if you want to call that a joke, go yeah, for it. That, but you are undoubtedly the fake. biggest fence rider on YouTube. You would just as soon make a diss track on Logan Paul as you would drop to your knees and suck him. <laughs> Okay, cool. Wrath. Now we're gonna talk about the Gabby situation, and if you're not oh familiar boy. with it, I'll bring you up to speed. These two are attending a party together. She goes up to him with Snapchat in hand and says, I challenge you to a freestyle. She's pestering him. She says, you don't have your ghost rider here, do you, bitch? He's obviously quite scared. So he does the only thing that he thinks he can do. I had two options that night. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch, or I could have did something about it. And I did something about it. I grabbed her phone and I smashed it. I was like, enough is enough, you little stupid bitch. I smashed her phone. I smashed her phone. Only two options. That's it. That's all he has. There isn't a third option that got swept under the rug, and that's to play along with it. There isn't even an infinite number of options that allow you to do any number of things that don't make <laughs> you look like an asshole or a pussy. I can't just sit there and look like a bitch. If you are ever so terrified of being put in an improvisational situation that you smash someone's phone for fear of looking like a bitch, you sort of automatically just look like a bitch. <laughs> I had two options that night. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch, or I could have did something about it. It's like he's describing the thought process of a wounded animal or a caveman. I either run away or I smash. Those are the two options. Enough is enough, you little stupid bitch. I smash their phone. If you're a comedian if you, and if all your videos are jokes, the first thing that comes to your mind is, how can I turn this into a joke? Nope. You got the ape brain. I can't just sit there and look like a bitch. I just want to mention as a side note that when he was on Drama Alert, he had said that when you go to these YouTuber parties, it's understood that you don't bring out your phone and you don't film people really without their permission. These YouTuber parties, people know to right. not take out phones. Or so you ask permission. People do film at those parties, and you filmed at those parties. Filming's fine when people are okay with it. You weren't okay with it because you got bamboozled. Would you guys like to hear the juiciest bit of hypocrisy? Yes. I should have through her phone, but I mean, if you're gonna record me at a party when I'm off guard. This girl literally came up to me in person, didn't ask me, hey Rice, do you mind if I vlog? She just came up to me, camera already on, and I was so unexpected. It kind of sounds like he doesn't like being recorded without his consent. How interesting. No, but I'm not streaming though, I just wanted to call you. <laughs> oh, you're not? <laughs> no, I know, I just wanted to call you and just talk. I now, love this. Like, this is hey, was streaming, ha, he, he fooled you, don't trust him. Fuck out of here, you snitches, man. I would've got nudes, bro, but y'all was really fucking up my tempo. Uh -huh, I don't even sure. know why I, I even lied, bro. Fucking people snitch way too much. What? Okay. Alright, great. <laughs> he is very entitled. So entitled, in fact, that when he's not invited to a YouTube-related event, 
He has to tell everyone about it. Instead, they decided to hook up like Tyler Oakley and these washed up YouTubers and fly them out and stuff and hook those guys up and not even hook me up. If you're watching this right now, YouTube, have all those guys that are irrelevant now, but you know, just at least show respect to the people that was grinding, you know, hard and shit. What? I can understand no. whining like a bitch because you didn't get invited to YouTube Rewind. What I can't understand at all is why you would bring up other YouTubers' names and talk about their numbers and how irrelevant relevant they are. These names right here, I'm sorry if I'm calling you out, these people right here were popping in 2015, 2014, like, but in 2016, like, who, like, there were so many people in the video that I was like, who the fuck, like, who are these people? You are so stupid that you don't even realize that that question could be asked of you in a matter of years. That's I guess true. you should just hope that future relevant YouTubers aren't as mentally deficient as you. During this year at VidCon, there was this that's very like annoying Instagram kid who was making a fool of himself like, by disrespecting the VidCon okay, staff. That's Christian Bale. Kill of course, he had to make a video on this kid. You might Rice be wondering what could only he possibly for anything criticize just this to call kid for that he hasn't and it's done honestly himself. Annoying. Not much. I cannot believe these are actual words coming out of another human's mouth. We get it, bro. You're rich and you're famous, but that does not give you the right to be mean and call these security guards irrelevant. Like, they're literally just doing their job. Have all those guys that are irrelevant now, but... Hey, irrelevant. Irrelevant. I feel like this guy thinks he's, like, above people. Like, he was calling people peasants and irrelevant, like... You're irrelevant. Because they're irrelevant! Gabby Show, another pretty irrelevant oh YouTuber. My. In addition See, to being see, a that's what I just he also said. thinks numbers mean everything. I don't even know who this guy is, like, Afrogum, who is this guy? Security guard made a social media and has more followers than that kid. Like, what? <laughs> he has more followers than you, how do you feel? Calls him irrelevant when he's irrelevant himself. I don't know how he's missing the point. It's almost as if he thinks this kid's actions would be justified so long as he has the numbers to back it up. Wow. Him being an asshole wow. cannot be justified by his large following. The world doesn't owe you shit no matter how fucking large your sub count is. Dude, this guy has only 16,000 followers and he's talking like that? Imagine if he had my YouTube viewers. Yes, if he had your YouTube viewers, he would be as arrogant and unintelligent as you. Bro, you're not violent! at all. That's viral, all right? That's viral. You're not viral. You need to relax. Miss, I got a million views. So, like, my last song got 13 million views. So, can I call myself Mr. I got 13 million views? Like, that's... It's weird. It's kind of like whenever someone brags themselves, he thinks that is now an opportunity to brag because the focus is on them. Yeah, it's cool that you're helping out, you know, depressed fans, but this isn't something you, like, brag about, you know? I do this too, but, you know, you don't see me bragging about it. But you shouldn't be bragging about it. I mean, I do all these things too, bro, but you don't see me making a song. You do not help out depressed fans. What are you fucking talking about? Because some kid emails you and says, watching your videos is helping my depression. Do you really need everything? Why in the world is it not a enough to be a YouTube star who gets a lot of views by being an asshole, why do you also then have to say, by the way, I'm also a nice guy who helps out depressed fans. One of his very notorious practices is to bring up people's names with the most feeble excuses. At the beginning, I really liked his videos. And I oh, at the beginning you liked all my stuff, but like what, so now all my newer videos you don't like it that much? A month ago he tweeted, gonna make a new channel where I only do roast and diss tracks so I can whore out everyone's name in the title. This tweet is probably about me. Alright, you got PewDiePie popped up as you guys can see. I'm gonna go on his likes tweet. It says Rice Gum Starter Pack. As a result of this, he's constantly baiting out who the next diss track is going to be on. Is it going to be on this person, who has nothing to do with me and has never mentioned my name? Is it going to be about this person, who referenced an ambiguous Asian character? I don't think there's ever been a better way to inflate your own ego than fabricating your own genius video so you have an excuse <laughs> to explain your lyrics. Yo, what up? It's your boy Rice. You know, I got a ton of tweets. Yo, Rice Dub, who's got church about? What's the song about? This isn't a joke. This is a real thing. <laughs> On top of being a musician, he also thinks that he's a really good music critic. My first hit single, Every Nice Sis, is on the Billboard Top 100s, alright? This was the first official song I've ever done. Wow! Wow, that's incredible! Anyways, I just feel like I have a really good grasp on music. I can tell good music from bad music. Basically, I know what the f*** going on. Ah!
There's a ton of YouTubers now that is just trying to rap. They need to stop. I feel like he should stop making music and just stick to what he's good at. She's really not that good at music. She should really stop doing music and just stick to what she's good at. At least get better every song. Like me, I don't think I'm the best, but I mean, I'm, I'm slowly working no. on my flow. Lyric, you know, I'm trying to get better. I don't think so. <laughs> this is so rich. To, to think that other people should stop making music because they're not improving. It just sounds bad. Have you heard your own shit? All your fans are tens, they don't know what they are doing. Stop dissing me, go find your top lip instead. Went from vines to trying to rap, you should probably go back. I'ma call you Shrek, cause you look like an ogre. For a mil, you at 700k. At least get better every song, like me, I don't think I'm the best, but I mean, I'm, I'm slowly working on my flow. Lyric, you know, I'm trying to get better. You know. It is not a coincidence that your music has improved since moving to LA. You're now utilizing a professional music studio where someone else is mixing and mastering all your music. They're probably writing the catchy bits for you. You have someone who's filming all the videos for you. And you still probably have the ghostwriter on payroll. You have nothing to be boastful about, you fucking moron. <laughs> He's such a faggot. Like, these guys are just throwing stuff out there just because they get views now. They're just throwing out diss tracks because they get views. Yeah, I can't think of a single other person who would do that. For mil, US 700K. If there's one thing to take away from this video, it's that he doesn't want to be known as a bitch. I can't just sit there and look like a bitch. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch. So I want you guys to keep that in mind Ooh, going forward. Okay. That's going to do it for the rant portion of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out any of the channels that I collabed with to make this video possible, all their links will be down below. That is all seven of the deadly sins. Now it's time to finish where we started. Maybe at the end he might squeeze a diss track in there to show people that he can, you know, you know, give me a taste of my I've own heard medicine. So much about this. That's not a bad idea. Oh. Good evening, everyone. This is Jimmy Dean from Ten News, and I'm here at an undisclosed location. There's been a lot of foot traffic from hype beasts in and around this area and we pinpointed it to this building. I'm about to risk my journalistic career by entering this room and trying to infiltrate this cult, but I hope you all understand I'm doing this in the name of journalism. I'm not interested cool. in it for the money or the clothes cool. or the high-end fashion cool. a as a whole. <laughs> Behind this door, that's where they're at. Okay. <laughs> Hi there. I'm here to join your cult. Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, who I mean, are these I'm, people? I'm willing I know to that's H3H3, but who was all these other people? Oh, yeah, Punch. Is that, wait, wait that's place. Jack's films. Can I get one I of the think. shirts at least? The, or the, the hood, hoodies? Why do you walk like that? Do you have polio? <laughs> wow. I don't know if you're proud. Die. We will act immediately. Call me all units. Shots fired. Shots fired in front of the Supreme Store. There's about to be a 261 in progress. Send all available units. Send in the backup. Send in the big gun. Send in the K9 unit. Send in the. I wanna be gay, cause you're fucked and I wanna savor it But it's cool, after smashing you I'll pay pal you 2k Oh no, you getting mad? You knocked the phone right out of my hand? That shit was fucking absurd, you're a rapper who can't resolve shit with words? Talk like you eat some paste, Hey, Is that your IQ or your age? Hey, Say to your audience face, Hey, How Jacob's notorious taste? Hey, look afraid, must have seen a ghost rider Well ditto little bitch, but I'm not scared to show mine You've been pretending ever since your little rice balls descended Let kids think you did it all when you weren't capable of making a playground insult That's bad, but then I heard you try to rap I was more disappointed than when I found out Casey Neistat didn't have nice hats Boy, gotta flex, gotta flex, flex, flex Because when you've got no personality, replace it with a Rolex
You really don't see your friends rolling their eyes, hoping to die? They're so tired to be throwing the prize of what you buy in their face? No, 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 no! You think they're gonna say, Oh my god, you're such a legend! You make me so wet with your reckless spending! You've gained my respect and you're oh so funny! Please, take me to your mansion and fuck me! You're fucking delusional, so try your best to remember. You are not a pimp, you're a borderline sex offender. This boy a flavor of the month, but which is it, huh? A whiny Vietnamese wannabe gangsta is salt and vinegar. You're like Kanye, without the talent. Like Jackie Chan, but a little faggot. Like Soldier Boy, but actually, yeah, you're exactly like Soldier Boy. So you don't wanna look like a little bitch, but dude, you're gonna be crucified. How can you claim that shit when you're too scared to go in on beauty pie? Little ho, <laughs> little bitch, suck my 5.3-inch dick. Admit that you just got I'll pound it. I'd say take the L if you could pronounce it. Get it? Because you're Asian? That's what you wanted, right? Hey, let's make fun of the ashen bow with his ashen bowish eyes. Jesus Christ, you're as predictable as a house tour. To call you surface level would be an insult to the ground floor. Whatever you promise to follow, you quit. You can't persist for shit, you narcissistic prick. Your audience is fickle. Here's what I predict. Your channel's bound to crash down to rubble. Oh no. How the fuck can someone call come? No realize they're in a bubble. But Ooh. let me guess, I'm irrelevant, right? Yes. Isn't that your yes. excuse? When you're too stupid to explain your views, cause you was basic, cause I one block Rubik's Cube? You're an insecure, unoriginal little bitch, and that's that. So come to think of it, you're actually the dog filter on Snapchat. Stop cash, cash, money, and the views and the clicks, and yet you're always gonna be a little bitch. Now, I'm finished as planned. It was just three minutes, so it wasn't that bad, but I got one question to ask you, bro. Did it feel good, though? Oh, oh, no. Oh. iTunes and Spotify links down below. Cool. Please consider downloading to support the channel. You could also use the beat to make a Minecraft parody of this song. That's great. I love that. This iDubs guy is pretty funny. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. That was actually pretty entertaining, as uh, you can see by my face, because I was reacting to it. Um. Well, anyways, that was actually quite an experience. I really enjoyed it. Um. I already watched Rice Gums react uh, response to it. So I'm not going to react to that, but, but yeah, now I understand where he's coming from with all that, and, yeah. So anyway, guys, this was Content Cop Jake Paul. If you like how it turned out, leave a like. If you liked it, then subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Ow, okay, goodbye.